Oh look, two different brands, same design. And today we're looking at the blue one. Yep, there are mini PC manufacturers out there offering their mini PC designs to anyone wanting to slap their brand on them. And that's the case with the Raytan S8. We have looked at this mini PC design before with a Boss Game M4 Neo, and we will again in a future video. It's an all plastic box with solid build quality and an ugly red power button. Well, at least the color of the mini PC sort of matches the CPU inside it, which is Intel's i9-12900H, a flagship from a few years ago. It certainly isn't one today, and that's not a problem if the price is right. The 12900H comes with plenty of cores and threads, along with Intel's XE graphics, but has been surpassed thrice generationally on the Intel side. Included in the box with the S8 is a compact 19 volt 120 watt power supply, VISA mount, and HDMI cable. Pretty standard. Rare 10 has the S8 mini PC available with a 1TB SSD and 32GB DDR5 option, coming in at US$469 on their official website. It's also available on Amazon. With a stiff competition from every angle, the S8 is going to be a hard sell unless it impresses in other ways. For ports, the mini PC features dual USB Type-A 10 gigabit on the front, Thunderbolt 4, which worked fine powered by my USB-C monitor, and an audio jack. There's an Intel Wi-Fi 6 chip for wireless and Bluetooth. The back has dual Intel LAN, HDMI 2.0, DisplayPort 1.2, and dual USB 3 10 gigabit. Nothing out of the ordinary, and the possibility of three displays. It's easy enough to open the S8 with four exposed screws. Lift the lid, and then another three screws to remove the SSD and RAM cooler. Inside you'll find dual 2280 M.2 Gen 4 X4 slots. One is occupied by a Kingston Gen 4 NVMe, and there's 32 gigabytes of DDR5 running at 4800 mega transfers. The M.2 wireless card is easy to upgrade or replace. Windows 11 Pro is included on the SSD, and a scan came back positive for a registry entry having been modified, the Never Show file extension. I don't think this is malicious at all, but why not just give us a clean install? Ubuntu works fine on this mini PC if you prefer to use Linux. Now, let's see how Intel's i9-12900H in this mini PC holds up in today's market. It's nothing special in single core Cinebench, with a pretty average score at best. Multi-core performance out of the box is a bit higher on the chart, and the performance profile in the BIOS lifts it further. The single core performance is rated a bit better in Geekbench's varied workloads. And the same can be said for multi-core, where it rivals something like a similarly priced Ryzen H255 mini PC. In H.264 CPU video encoding, the S8 is smack bang middle of the chart. However, the Ryzen H255 chips win out in this workload, and by a bigger margin in the longer AV1 encoding test, where the Rayatan S8 drops down the chart. An area this mini does better than expected is in the Geekbench AI CPU test. But unfortunately, it does very poorly in the AI GPU test. DDR5 helps push the GPU score up in 3DMark, although Intel's iGPUs are notorious for being optimized for the benchmarks and not for actual workloads, like games as an example. That being said, the S8 is far off something like a Ryzen H255 across the board in all three tests, and it struggles a lot with the modern Steel Nomad Lite DX12 benchmark. And that means it's got no chance with modern AAA games. Raytan's S8 has around mid-range CPU performance and below mid-range GPU performance. Unless you want to play some eSports games at 1080p low, your only option is running an eGPU. Here I'm testing the mini PC using an RTX 4070 Super eGPU on the Thunderbolt 4 port. When it comes to compiling code, Intel's CPUs typically do pretty well. But this one is still behind a Ryzen H255 mini PC. 
Photoshop performance is decent, but again behind the similarly priced competition. And the same applies for Adobe Premiere. The included Kingston Gen 4 NVMe SSD is one of the slower ones around and gets beaten by some Gen 3 SSDs in the storage benchmark. Its temp during the thrash test, which has all cores under load and the SSD fully utilized, was higher than expected. Still, not in thermal throttling territory, but I expected better. You might have noticed when we opened it that only half a thermal pad is used for the drive to connect to the plastic cooler, which isn't great for heat dissipation in the first place. Bluetooth range is above average at 6.5 meters or 21 feet, and there were no Wi-Fi problems with this Mini at 12 meters or 39 feet from the router using the 5G band. Idle power draw for the S8 is pretty high, as it is with other i9s. But the S8 does take the win, or loss in this case, amongst the Intel i9s. Maximum power draw isn't too far off the other mini PCs, but it's higher than most. And the performance mode added a few more watts. CPU temp held up okay with a maximum of 93C, which is a good result for a mini PC with an i9 chip. Although other mini PCs on the chart from the AMD side do better. Fan noise is pretty interesting. While idle noise is high, load is surprisingly low for an i9 chugging so many watts. With the balance mode, it doesn't go up much compared to the idle fan noise, and performance mode doesn't add much more either. Raytan's S8 is a pretty reasonably sized mini PC, with its volume being 3 quarters of a litre. The delete key on startup will get you into the BIOS. In advance, they've pinned the common options at the top, including the power limit selection, wake on LAN, and even CEC support. That makes it easy. So, good job there. And with all that out of the way, we come to the conclusion. The Raytan S8 has low fan noise under load, and comes with a compact power supply. It's also one of the few 12th gen Intel minis to include DDR5. However, based on its price, the value just isn't there for the 12th gen i9, which can't compete with similarly priced AMD products in performance, and idle fan noise is higher than most. It's also pretty obvious that the iGPU performance is low and not competitive. There's nothing majorly wrong with Raytan's S8, but it needs to have a cheaper price to be competitive in the current market. Although, you could do a lot worse than the S8. Raytan's S8 marks my last Intel 12000 series mini PC review. The end of an era. So, hope you enjoyed it. Or not. Either way, I'm done with them. Oh, and here's another Raytan mini PC known as the Silver 9 to end this video on. Cheers.